Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I am questioning these earrings. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like they may be like a little bit too big, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so for today's video, I wanted to do my entire collection of summer and spring handbags. I recently put up a video, which was I think two videos ago, where I uh, talk about the six handbags that I feel like every woman needs. And uh, I asked you in that video if you'd like to see me just show you my entire collection of all the summer and spring bags that I have, all the woven bags, all of those. and. I got, a lot of, oh, oh, oh. I got a lot of DMs on Instagram asking me to do it. And so here I am. I'll show you everything. And this is in no order. It's just I literally threw them all on the bed next to me. And um, I'll try to link everything. I know some of them are not available anymore. I've had a bunch of them for a long time now. But I'll try to find um, alternatives if I can't find the exact one. You can kind of see a little bit here. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't judge my tan, don't judge my hair. This is a judgment-free zone, please, for today's video. I just, it's just, it's just not working for me, okay? But whatever. Um, so the first handbag, I had it with me in Jamaica when I went in February, and every person, literally every woman that would pass me, a woman, a man, a worker there, a guest there, everyone asked me where I got this bag from. And it's the Lenina um, bucket bag. Uh, I got it at Neyman Marcus. I was able to find it on sale. I don't know if they're still if they're still on sale, uh, but they do have them on multiple websites. So I'll link. I'll try to find this exact color. The little um, crystals are gray, and then the bag is black. I love this. I think it's so fun. It's so sparkly. I mean, you can see how sparkly it is. I absolutely love it. I wore this every single day at the resort when we went out to dinner, when we went out to a show later at night. Um, it's just so fun. And even though the handles are small, they do have a new version now on their website where you can get like the crossbody handle. I wish I had that um, or crossbody strap, but I would just hold it like this. So it makes it a little bit more comfortable. And the bag on the inside, it's a drawstring, so nothing will fall out. I just have like napkins in there. Um, and it's stitched to the actual basket. And so it's not going to come out of there. And it's not going to like bunch up in the, in, in, blah, 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 bunch up inside where like all your stuff kind of gets like messy. It stays, it's like stitched all on the sides as well. So it stays in there really well and nice. Um, if that makes sense, probably it doesn't. And yeah, so I love this bag so much. Um, even though it was pricey, I feel like it's so worth the money because I wore it so much already and I will continue wearing it on every trip I go on. The next one is my newest one and it's by Pamela Moon Moonsan. Um, it's this really pretty shoulder bag. Let me know what you guys think about it because I'm kind of going back and forth if I think it's a little too big or not. I got this at Nordstrom. It's hard to find these on sale, but I know they're currently on sale on um, Ber on Neyman Marcus, which I'll link below if, um, if they're still available. And what I love about it, what's really different is that they have like these um, tied handles with big pearls on them. And so I feel like that's just like such a fun and girly addition. Um, it's really pretty. It's very well made. And then on the inside, it just has one pocket and it's fully lined. Um, these are very well made, even though they're pricey. If you like summer bags, if you live in a warm climate and you know you're going to get a lot of use out of it, I feel like it's a really good investment. And, um, I have another bag from the same designer, which I'll get to. It's somewhere in the pile. I'll get to it soon. Uh, the next one I talked a little bit about in my um, The Six Handbags That Every Woman Needs video. It's a crossbody little circle bag that I had such a hard time finding when they first came out and now they're everywhere. You can get them on Amazon. There's like thousands of them and it's just really... It's a really fun bag uh, to have in the summer. It's crossbody. If it's your iPhone Plus, if you have uh, the bigger version of the iPhone, if it's pretty much everything you might need, it's really, really um, handy and you can really stuff it even though it doesn't maybe look like it. And it's crossbody, it has a leather strap. So I love this one. I wear it a lot in the summer. Um, if we're just going out, out for like coffee or to the park and I don't want to have a, hand, a bag that I need to hold in my hand, I wear that one a lot. The next one, 
I told you it's random order, is this big one that says Ooh La La and it has an Eiffel Tower on it and it has a, um, a scarf tied to it. I got this from, where did I get it from? Uh, from Anthropology when I was going to France last summer. We went to the south of France and then we went to Paris and I had my heart set on this basket when I saw it and it kept getting sold out. It was really expensive and I was just like, I need this bag. It is so perfect. It was my first time in France. I was so excited to go. I wanted something festive. And finally it was on sale and they had one left and I got it so quick and I was able to get it. And it's just the cutest thing ever. It's really big, so it's good for the beach. Um, I put it, it was hard to pack it because it's so big, but I ended up just like stuffing it with clothes in my suitcase, but I love it. It's very well made. I don't know the designer. <laughs> it doesn't say the designer anywhere. I'll try to find it like in my email or something, if I could see it in there um, and find something like this for you. I know they have different versions. They don't just have a French one. They have ones that, um, like have different stitching on them, but I love this one. It is massive. I'm going to probably use it as like a decoration when we buy a house. Um, so it's not just sitting in the closet because I think it's so pretty. The next two bags are from Banana Republic and I got both of them years ago. This one is just, um, just like a pretty, it looks like a hula skirt kind of bag and i don't know i just i felt like it's so fun it has a pom-pom it um has a lot of crap inside like every other bag that i own it closes like this it has leather straps i just saw it and i thought it was the cutest thing so i got it i want to say maybe four years ago and i just realized i'm probably not going to be able to link most of these bags so i will just link a bunch of similar ones or ones that I think are really cute. I'll just look around online and find a bunch for you. And then this bag was peed on by a cat on our honeymoon on the very first day I got there. So it's also from Banana Republic. It's just this really comfortable kind of a tote bag and I love it because of the long straps. It's very slouchy. It's just like a very easy summer vibes. And it has one pocket on the inside and then it has like the bottom of it lined. So what happened, if you watched our honeymoon vlog, I think it's on there. We went by the pool and a cat came up to us and we were like, oh my God, look how cute, it's a little kitty. And we like gave him a French fry or something. And then he went up to my handbag and he started peeing on it. There were wild cats and it smelled so bad that I couldn't use this bag the entire rest of my honeymoon. I had to buy a new bag for the beach at the store at the resort. But um, I think I forgot what I did with it. I think I either like our room service or someone. Sp I think I sprayed it with like some kind of a carpet cleaner. I don't remember exactly, but the smell is out so I could use it. I was like, for sure, I'm going to have to throw it out because it was so bad. <laughs> but um, the smell is gone. So I still use it and I feel like it's such a summer fun slouchy bag. So if you have a cat or if you're anywhere near cats, watch your bag because it was bad. It was bad. Like we literally couldn't even go on the balcony where the purse was. It was so smelly. Um, the next one is also Pamela Moonson. And this is a bucket bag that you can clip. So it's normally like a regular bucket bag, but you can clip it and make it kind of flat. It's completely lined on the inside. That's the thing with Pamela Moonsun handbags. Um, they are pricey. A lot of them, they really kind of, they start at, I think like two, maybe 225, uh, but they're, they're lined, they're very well made. And so I don't mind it because I know I'm gonna be using it for years. And um, it's the perfect size. You can put your phone in there, sunglasses, keys, whatever. And it's just really cute. And I have three more. I have two from Forever 21. This one I took on my honeymoon as well. And this one would have been better for the cat to pee on because I could have just wiped it. But um, I got this at Forever 21. But I know there's so many stores that's, that used to at least sell this exact shape. And it has a pouch on the inside. But it's the most annoying thing ever because it keeps folding. It doesn't like stay in place and so if you throw something in there it's kind of hard to grab it out again um but i thought it was cute for the beach you know for like going out to dinner later on at night um just like a simple clear handbag and then another one i got uh which i never used yet is this one 
and you can remove the pouch on the inside but I like this one because the pouch is made of like faux leather and so it stands up straight and then it's not gonna get slouchy like this one and I just thought it was cute I don't know and they're very inexpensive at forever 21 they're like maybe like $15 or less so love it and then the last bag before I started filming, I tried to find the brand of it and I couldn't find it. It's this really pretty bag from a an Instagram boutique and for the life of me, I cannot remember. And it didn't come with this, this I added, uh, but it has my initials. I got this when I think it was like maybe two months before my wedding. I knew I wanted everything with my initial on it for the honeymoon. I literally went a little crazy just getting like everything with new initials and I got this bag um it has a lot of crap in there but it has a zipper compartment here so if you want to put your phone or your wallet um and it has these shoulder straps which I've carried on my shoulder and they held up pretty well they pretty they were the bag was heavy I took it to my honeymoon I stuffed it to the rim and it, nothing ripped like it's very well made it's kind of a dupe for the uh, for the Chanel bags that look just like this but obviously for like one hundredth of the price this is I think 55 and the Chanel one is like 3,000 I don't know um, but it's really really cute and I love it I just can't find the, the brand for it I will look it up I'll really try hard to find it oh I have a crate and barrel gift card cool um, I'll really I'll try hard to find it and link it below I'm sure it's somewhere in my email and that's it for my summer handbags I hope you enjoyed it let me know which one was your favorite and thank you so much for watching I'll see you soon bye